Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome, luxurious fifth wheel. This might be the perfect fifth wheel for couples for the year 2022. This is a 2022 Heartland Big Country Model 3155RK. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're giving you three things we love about the big country and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited to be showing you guys one of the biggest and best, one of the best couples fifth wheels for 2022 the big country wait till you guys hear the price before i begin gotta say hi to will hey, hey will guys. how's it going today it's going good beautiful uh november day here in tampa and we're back at general so of course i'm here with my friend bruce the hey, world's everybody. greatest director yes. what's Bye. going on bruce all right good to see you guys again glad to have you back absolutely. on the show absolutely if you guys don't remember last time we had you on was hershey two years ago yeah. when we were live when you tripped over the fake rock that was have you recovered? the Winnebago display for have, those have, of you that remember have you recovered yeah we did we okay did good job. good awesome. so how does it feel to be back feels great to have you guys on board have you back in the lot uh, going over product uh, really excited about what you're gonna offer our customers how we can work together with customers and uh, saving them from high prices and uh, getting them into the right product cool. Bruce talking about high prices Saving them from high prices means giving extremely great discounts, and this one being one of the biggest discounts I've seen on the whole lot. So Bruce, without further ado, let's begin. So model is 3155RLK. The actual tip to tip length is 36 feet, five inches. The dry weight is 11,730 pounds, and the hitch weight is 2,365 pounds. Right up front here, big country, Top of the line for Heartland, a beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Come on in, Bruce. Tell us what tell us what, what else we got going on. Well, you look at the front cap here, it's got a really nice radius. It doesn't just radius top to bottom, but it actually radiuses around the sides. And if you look at how the radius cap comes around the side here, you've got an encapsulated molding here that comes around the edge. So rather than just having a screw cap molding here that's exposed to the front, a lot of times what can happen is that molding there's screws behind there that attach whatever's on the front to the sidewall. Water can get in, water can penetrate. You don't have that with this. Hmm. Very clean, very neat, wraps around, easier to clean with bugs. Just, just a, a, a much better process of build. Well, I want you to zoom in right here. Okay. 27 years right Look there. Look at that. It's been a few years. <laughs> right over here, Will, does have the Kurt Rotoflex pin box right here. Okay. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Oh, nice, nice storage with a Moride uh, power reel. Not power, manual water, reel. Water what? Or water, water hose reel. reel. Water hose reel. Yeah, okay. and it is manual. Manual, yep. Over here so our batteries. Yep. You can see the hydraulic reservoir. These are, Bruce, these hydraulic slide outs? These are all hydraulic slides all the way around, except for the, excuse me, the bedroom slide is not my air. Okay. Generator Spot for a prepped. generator, it's all prepped. Uh, laser cut for the exhaust if you'd ever want to add a new generator to it. Perfect. Coming around the side here, you can see that it is also six point hydraulic auto leveling. We do have frameless, oops, let me show this. Okay. Propane. Nice. We do have frameless windows throughout the big country. Nice power awning with LED lights right there. Over here, we do have storage. You can see that it does connect to the front right there. Your auto leveling controls right there, and then you do have TV hookup right there. And then right there is a great place to leash up your furry friend. We do have nice solid steps here. Because this is a Heartland, they do use Asdell right there. Asdell is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Nice. Okay, one thing I just want to bring up, everybody sees this, is these are upgraded. So this has the Moride uh, step above. And if you notice, I'm doing this with one hand. It wow. does have nice. an assist to it. Yes, sir. Very easy, grab it, stops right in, close your door. So very, very effortless in, in providing a step process that aids you getting in rather than the clunky pull-out steps that are on right. quite a few other brands. Yes. Cool. I love it. Yeah, that hydraulic assist is amazing. It really is. Also right there, you can see that it is prepped for the Furion side marker lights as well. Okay. 
coming on down. Look at these tires, Will. They're the Westlakes. I love those. ST235-85 R16. And I am not used to... Is that the Moride CRE? That is the Moride okay. yeah, CRE 3000. Okay, yep. Just without the sticker on. Yep. Very nice. Hey, Will, I just want to point out one yeah. thing, everybody, to take a look at this. So these are frameless windows. A lot of times you only see that on higher end product. Right. In this price point, it's pretty rare that you would find something like this. These windows do open, so you do have that jealousy style that these crank out. You can leave these windows. A lot of times you'll have a sliding window, but you can't leave that sliding window open if it rains. Right. So here you can get some ventilation, nice deep tint, great look, clean and neat going down the sidewall. Did you say jealousy? Jealousy. Yeah, so everybody who don't have the frameless windows, they got the, their jealousy of your frameless windows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that word being used like that. Coming around the back, well, we do have a hitch, 300 pound hitch of vertical weight. You cannot tow behind this. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. Also, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. There is three AC units. Um, it's the Whisper Quiet air conditioning units. But again, you guys know I hurt my ankle. Bruce, guess what happened? I rolled, you would think I'd have a great story like Halloween, I got into a fight with a clown. Nope, I was just walking Halloween night and I rolled it on a piece of mulch and I yeah. think I tore my tent. How are you gonna get on the roof? Oh, I'm not. Are you gonna get on the roof? I don't know. We can we can do it if they want to see up there. We'll get up there. Bruce, America wants see to it. see the roof. <laughs> get on up there, Bruce. All right, so we'll go up. All right. Look, he does it a lot easier than you do too. <laughs> so up here on the roof, we'll start. You know, we talked about the AC units. Um, you've got the Wine Guard Air 360 on the top. You can see how everything is really nicely finished from from Heartland skylight, roof vents, and then you also have up here. The Jaboni system that is already pre-wired, you can connect to that. And you look at the tops of the slides, nicely sealed. You do have the pre-mounts that if you want to add slide toppers to that, that is something that we can ask. Hey guys. Hi. And here All right. we go. All right, careful coming down, Bruce. Be careful. Great, and if you haven't already, Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV sales directors is gonna take his butt up on the roof. When I'm down here, crippled. not even try crippled, trying to climb up on the roof. Nobody. Take care of it. D there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Over here, 50 amp power cord, right there. Okay. That's uh, storage for your stinky slinky. Nice. Right over here, we have more storage here. Okay. Nice slam latch door. Over here, do you know what this is for, Bruce? I do not. Refrigerator access. The more you know. I actually knew that because I saw it from the inside. Yeah, and then right is. there, that is our sewer connection. Okay. 10 gallon water heater right there. And then look at this wet bay. I absolutely love it. Nice and clean. And then the other side of that storage right there. Anything else we should touch on on the outside, Bruce? Now, some of the cool things that I like on this too is you have a nice closure system. Yep. So by having a paddle handle like that on your compartment doors and you shut these, it's closed. You're not having yeah. to put, you know, a common key in there, turn it you know or having thumb drives like this like right. most department doors have um having the propane tank saddlebag so they're on both sides with the regulator over here you're distributing that weight more evenly when you're going down the road well bruce cool. the outside of this fifth wheel looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look all right You missed Bruce climbing on the roof. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So starting up front is the bedroom. And then right next to that's the bathroom. And then coming down, you got the kitchen, living area, dining area, all in one. Where are we starting today, Matt? We are actually going to start back there. Okay. But first, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. 
With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes. this video. Let's continue right. the video. Bruce, this is a huge, comfortable living area. Tell us a little bit about this furniture. Well, uh, you've got all, what is this? Coastal, Coastal comfort. comfort, excuse me, get to look here real quick. Um, you've got lights on the bottom, so you do have some light lights on it. You do have the recliners, you've got your cup holders, uh, heated seats, mm. higher back. Yes. You know, I'm a little bit taller than what you are. But, yep, you know, but it's very comfortable tall. and it's a good look and it's, it's more sophisticated look. You got the brown stitching. Right over here, you have your remote holders. This does come out to make a bed. Do you got? Ha do you have that storage on your side? I do. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Very nice. It we looks do. like you got power and USB on yep. both sides. Oh, Very right nice. there, yep. Little side table. Yeah. We have windows all the way around. Very nice balances. And then this is going to have the MCD slow rise shades, which nice. we do like. If you don't mind showing some of that top storage, Plenty of storage up on top. And you know, one thing that I've been learning a lot about cabinetry, Bruce, is it's not necessarily about, about the color, brown, brown, and brown, light brown, dark brown, but it's these little accent colors, the support colors, that just gives it a really good look. These are all what, what I would consider a hidden hinge. Okay. And these are all adjustable. So as you go down the road, a lot of times, in something in the rear kitchen, you start putting, or a rear living room, you put weight up here, Cabinets will have a tendency to flex. The yeah. RV moves. It, yes. It, it's going down the road and it's constantly flexing, and you can have doors get out of alignment. These hidden hinges are adjustable in and out and up and down. Very similar to what you have in a residence. Perfect. Nice. Over here, there is actually cabinetry above the theater seats here, which normally you don't see this. Very nice. And the other side right here. And then again, as Bruce said, very nice theater seats massage lights electric recliners what's really nice about it is it is all directly across from the tv entertainment center huge fury on tv tons of storage above right here nice solid surface countertops there wireless phone charger that's cool nice drawer connect bluetooth speaker and they do, does have a fireplace based off electricity Bruce, what do we got in the dinette? Dinette wise, you've got a freestanding table. There are two extra chairs up underneath the bed. We've stored those right now, but you do have the capacity to move this around. Right now it's fastened for travel. This does expand out. You've got your leaf that'll go in there. You've got a little bit of storage in here if you wanna leave the leaf out, but you can take this loose. I've seen some people where they face it towards the window. If it's just a couple, have the chairs facing out. You got a great vista with that yes, big window. You do. You know, everything is very neatly done and follows a nice geometric line. It's not, you know, off and, and look less high end. Right. It's got a great feel. And then something that I would like to mention, it's not carpet on the slide out, but it's not the flush floor, but this is a good compromise. Will and I, we are always okay with this. Um, this is more like a outdoor patio. Yeah. Mat. That, that, that weave fabric doesn't hold odors. Okay. So I've seen where people will put a, a, a cat, you know, collection there or a dog bed there. A cat collection? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> like, a litter, like a litter box? A litter box. Okay. okay. <laughs> trying, to, trying to be nice. Yes. Yeah. Well, Bruce, do you know what time it is? It's now time. Oh, I need Sorry. everybody to do it. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. Bruce, we got to freshen you up on the show. <laughs> but this is where Bruce is coming in. You ready for this, Will? Yeah. Stock number 268-536. This unit here in Tampa, $122,655. Bruce, MSRP. Bruce knew he'd be in this video. Yeah, he did. So you come to the store today, you're gonna see a different price than the people seeing the price on this video. Bruce, how much off MSRP did you guys get? 39%. 39% off MSRP? Gives you a forty-seven thousand dollars savings, which just at a sale price of just under seventy-five thousand. That's crazy. Seventy-four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars on this unit here. The only way you can get it is by calling us or going to generalrv.com/backslash/matt 
We have linked it down below. And Bruce, I haven't memorized my phone number yet. Brand new number. 844-969-4033. Guys, it doesn't matter if it's this unit or if you miss out on this unit, no big deal. Contact us anyway. We know with Bruce, with the Mats RV Reviews team, and with General RV, we are going to be able to get you the best price in America. And if you're not in Florida, we've got other locations that Nation may have similar big countries um, around the other stores. We got you covered. How many stores are we up to now, Bruce? 14. 14, that's there, right. There you go. Bruce, show us this kitchen. All right, so up here, you've got more of a solid surface countertop all the way around. You've got your garden style, or excuse me, not your garden style, in this floor, that's farmhouse. More of a farmhouse style yeah. sink. Faucet comes loose, you know, accenting black hardware, single on and off. So really, really spacious. Um, I like what they did with the kitchen. And one thing that we look at when we're picking manufacturers, if you look at the symmetry, symmetry excuse me, right. here, where you've got more of an apartment size range. You know, if you're in this long term, you can cook in this, you can bake in this. Turkey tested. You know, uh, ask him that well. Turkey tested. Yes. Tur no, turkey. <laughs> Turkey, turkey approved. approved. Turkey approved. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but I like how the, the cabinets sort of surround the work area. Yes. yes. You've got workspace on both sides I'm of the range and oven, and you've got a window across the back, so you don't feel like you're standing in a you know a cave. Right. Plenty of storage all the way around. Oh yeah. The microwave here. Oh yeah. And the microwave is a nice big one too, Bruce. Wow. Um, it's not convection, but really nice insignia microwave. Um, goes with the insignia cooktop as well. A little bit of storage here. Okay. Power right here in the island, which is really nice. And then a couple drawers right here. Now, Bruce, look at that big old refrigerator right yes. there. Residential size fridge. It is all electric. This is insignia as well. Wow. Nice Ice maker fridge. and everything. Yep. Cool, cool. Continue on, fellas. All right. A little bit of storage up top here. Yep. Nice little coffee nook right here you definitely can't make like a taco bar out of it but it's no, no plenty of bar. space for a coffee bar yep storage there and then a little bit more up top tall people storage and a nice big pantry right here very nice anything else you want to touch on in the kitchen bruce i just i like the space of, of coming around you know if you're entertaining outside the ability to go around and someone's over here you really get that zone effect in yes floor plan by having people that can hang out back here, enjoy the football game, enjoy watching a movie. You know, somebody else can be, be, be preparing food. And then to bring it outside is very easy. And, and I love how that kitchen island is not part of the living room area. Right. You do see that That's a lot. That's a good point. Like a lot of times it'll come way out. Perfect. Will, go step on in that shower. Okay. Can you check to see if we blew the we did. breaker? We did, yeah. Yeah. Again? It just, yeah, it just needs yep. to be popped. Got it. All right, well, what do we got going on here? Oh, ra radius, oh shower. radius shower. I know. Will, we haven't had a perfect RV yet. We really haven't. I will say the head height is good, but you guys know the rules on radius showers. Can't pass it. Can't there you go. It. Now it's all bright again. Yeah. Show us that medicine cabinet. Okay. Nice medicine cabinet right there. Yep. Plenty of space. Nice big sink. I really like that. I know Jen would love that. Nice faucet. Good colors and everything in here there and then you got like a bathroom closet right here mm -hmm. and here perfect Bruce would you like to do the honors I think up here the biggest thing that you want to look at too from a user standpoint is you don't have any carpet yeah so it's very easy to clean you have a Dyson vac very easy to go go around if you've got a pet you're not worrying about get, trying to get odors out of a carpeting um, I, I love that there's no carpeting in the whole coach. Bruce, do you have something against, uh, something against cats or something that we need? <laughs> I'm, I'm a pet lover. Yes. So you want to make it as easy, as simplified as you can. Really, the only carpeting that I can see is below that front wardrobe up there. Oh, yeah. Very, very minute. So Do you want to cool. sit on the toilet and do the prime pooping position? No, I'll let you do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> you remember when people yelled at him? Oh, did they? Yeah. Did they yell at you about they, the prime poop position? Yeah, people have said in the past. Guys, why would you yell this, at Bruce? This is Matt's honor. Why are you taking that over? <laughs> that is so funny. You Bruce guys, is like, it's okay. Dude, that was like two years ago. I, I can't believe. You guys, we, you got, you guys know who you are. You guys need to apologize to Bruce. <laughs> okay, I don't have a good viewing position, but you don't need one, Will. You know why? Because this is a prime poop position. Ding. There you go. Very nice. Come on, Bruce. Come on back up in here. Coming up into the bedroom, you got the solid surface here. Nice phone charger. Thank you, sir. 
nice drawers. Four drawers all the way down. Power. Looks like we can mount a TV there. Yep. King size bed, Bruce? King size bed. Okay. Windows on the side that do open. Charge ports for your phone, your, your iWatch, uh, your Apple Watch, excuse me. You have thermostat control up here yep. and down on the main floor. So you do have two separate zones with the air conditioner. With your air conditioner, you've got your air intake. This is more high end that you'd see and maybe yeah. a high end diesel pusher. Yep. And then your single discharge. So you're sucking air in and shooting the air from the air conditioners one direction. So you have a very, very efficient air conditioning system. Absolutely. Right here, stackable washer dryer prep. Yep. And then I'll get this. Those nice closet space here. Yeah, nice lighting in there. Tall uh, cabinet space as well. You know what, Will? Something else that I really love about this is how low the bed is. Good point, um, yeah. Because a lot of people are getting those aftermarket mattresses. You, and if you get one of those real thick ones, it's not like you're climbing up on the bed like in your fifth wheel. Right, you right. Know, um, there's plenty of space down so you can add mattress toppers, uh, upgrade mattress or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, power on both sides of the bed. So if you have a sleep apnea machine, if yep. you have a need to plug something in, you're laying in bed, you're you're reading your iPad at night before you go to bed and you want to plug it in, you've got ports right there, both charge ports um, and electricity. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom. That's right. Already wired your cable uh, on your TV up front. Some people don't like a, a TV up in their bedroom, but it is pre-wired for it. And you've got backers in the sidewall there to mount a TV too. I love it. Well, Bruce, that's it. That's the review. Now, before you leave, it's time we give people three things we love about this unit, three things we just don't like about it, Bruce. What do you use? What, it, what, what do you use? What do you want us to do first? I think we do uh, the positives. First? Yeah, let's do that okay. first. Will, go first. Things that we like. Let's or do you want to go first, Bruce? I'll, I'll hit a couple and then I'll let Will dive in for it. Okay. Go on down. I'm gonna, um, I think you look at the windows that are in here and how open and expansive this feels. Okay. A nice big window here. You know, your window is, is really almost floor to ceiling here. Yes. It allows a lot of light, a lot of ventilation here. Not everybody wants to camp or live in an RV and only have your air conditioning on all the time. You got some good cross ventilation across the headboard of your bed. You look in the back here, all your windows that open. You know, you got windows on the sides of your slide room that open. Many times you'll see where a manufacturer will skip these windows completely. Yes. Or these are just solid pane of glass and they don't open. Okay. Here again, you got that cross ventilation. So. The nice jealousy windows. I like it. No, the big windows in here are absolutely fantastic. Well, that's number one. What's like number two? Like number two, I'm going to say really honestly the color scheme in here. Yes. It's very different almost more of like a rustic feel almost um, like a beachy feel as well yeah. am i getting that right maybe yeah it's just very different from a lot of uh the other colors and design things you're seeing out there so i like it that's gonna be number two and then number three for me will i am gonna say i talked touched on it a little bit earlier but i you know obviously this is a traditional floor plan yeah i love how you do have your own living room yeah big and spacious your own kitchen big and spacious, a nice size bathroom, a nice size bedroom, you know, um, again, dollar for dollar. Again, at MSRP, when you compare this to other competitors, it's great, but especially at 74, 999, mm -hmm. was it 74? 74, just like yeah. 75. Yeah, yeah, that's cheaper than your Avenue, Will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you should have right. bought from General, Will. Right. <laughs> great, so that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we just don't like about this unit, Will. I got the first one. Okay. No awning on the slide out. Board. I was thinking that too. I stole it from you. you. That's why I cut in line. You guys <laughs> know we like power awnings. They did a great job with the awning there. We just wish they would have added a power awning right there. That's just like number one. Well, just like number two. Well, since you stole mine, I'm going to go to my go to, which is the toe kickers here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the worst in here because of how they position the oven, but I still really wish they did a flush floor slide. That's going to be number two. Bruce, do you have a number three? I do. So for number three for me, um, pantry, you know, yes, it's nice. Yes, it's spacious. I would have liked to have seen these shelves be more adjustable than fixed. Yes. So you have that flexibility. That way you could make this either a closet for mm. coats. Yep. Um, Umbrellas, whatever you want to put in here by having these fixed, that sort of limits you there. Yep. Bruce, that's why we have you on the show. That's why we love you. Guys, been in the industry 27 years. He is the sales director. There is nobody higher at General RV than you. Maybe one or two people, but you know what I'm saying? There you, is. You know what I'm saying. 
but for him to come on the show and to give it his dislike as well, so many times when we have salespeople, factory reps, anybody associated with anything in the RV industry, they're always, oh, I don't want to say anything wrong. Bad. It's just an opinion. And listen, person's going to look at this, and you know what they're going to say, Bruce? For, for a $50,000 <laughs> discount, I yeah. can adjust my own shelves. Right. But there's no such thing as the perfect RV, and that's what we like, and that's why we love you, and we, we appreciate you. Uh, him and Cosmo were, was the big home push about us coming back to general, and we're just so glad to be back. Well, we're yeah. excited about the partnership. That's why we flew down from Michigan. Yep. Greet you, welcome you. Um, we're excited about you know connecting with, with both our customers. Yes. Uh, the customers that enjoy your reviews, they're very honest reviews. Um, so just welcome back. Yeah. Guys, if you guys are interested in this big horn, hopefully it's still here if you're seriously looking to buy it, go to generalrv.com backslash mat-cash. We've linked that on our website. We have it linked down below or call us 844-969-4033. Bruce has assembled the freaking Avengers of salespeople in a good way to be there for our customers um, and give you guys the best price in America. Will, anything you wanna say? Yeah, again, huge thanks to Bruce for being here with us today. Um, this is a really great unit and Matt and I were just talking a few minutes ago about how great the pricing really is um, since we've come back. So we're excited to bring all that to you guys. Make sure to leave down in the comments below and let us know the three things you guys like and the three things you dislike about this unit. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely. Oh, go over there, Bruce, go over there. Thank you again. You guys, everybody who was mean to Bruce two years ago, you guys better <laughs> apologize. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching and guys, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.